Okay, so now th this is the, di the two different diagrams with um, the labeling done. So that's a petiole, like I said. That's a lobed leaf, but where that little lobe, that doesn't come all the way to touch the midrib. That's the midrib, right? That central sort of vein. This one here, that's a small vein there. And the compound leaf, these are two leaflets. So this whole thing is a leaf connected by a petiole to the twig. And how do you know? Because, how do you know it's a compound? Because at the foot of the petiole, or where the petiole connects to the twig, you see, you can um, usually locate a bud node. Bud node there, bud node there. But you will not have any bud node at the, at the base of a leaflet. First look at a bougainvillea plant here. You can see it's a nice pretty white bougainvillea. Uh, if you look at one of the leaves, okay, look at this leaf here, this leaf. Uh, if you look at the base of the leaf, you will see the bud, like I said. So there's a bud at the base of the, of the petiole where it connects to the twig. So this is a simple leaf. Bele leaf, uh, also called slippery cabbage. You will see the leaf is lobed. So see this part here, but that doesn't come all the way to touch the middle. All right. So, yeah, it's a simple leaf. You can see each of the lobes; they don't connect all the way to a, mid, um, a middle vein. And then, if you look at where the petiole here connects to the um, the stems, you will see. See, you see that little growth there. That used to be a bud, so out of the bud you can get new leaves. These are curry leaves, and this is an example of a compound leaf. How can you tell? Okay, these are all the leaflets, right? They're connected to uh, uh, this stem, which then connects. Through the petiole the petiole is there and remember what i said about the bud if you look at the base of the petiole you might be able to see a um, small small bud node at the base so so that is actually the petiole there and then the bud node is at, at the where the connection between the petiole and the, and the twig happens. The moringa leaf, and that is a compound leaf. It's not just a compound leaf, it's um, a double pinnately compound leaf. So you have this one stem, and then you have, let me show you, you have first this one stem. So this is where the petiole is. If you look very carefully, you will see a node. There's a small node there. So that's the petiole. And then this is one stem, and then there's a smaller stem that goes there. So once you have this one stem and then the smaller stem, it's double pinnately compound. So the, the leaflets aren't off this, they're off this. If you liked the video and found it useful, then press the subscribe icon on this side. 
and also click on the playlist which has uh, a couple of very good videos that I've found that describe um, the concept that I've uh, just covered in this video on this side.